Good morning and welcome to After Bloom. My name is Russ Bertlow, your host, and I'm here with Julie White today, my very special friend. It's rare that she's in town, but I'm so happy she is. Good morning, Julie. Hey, good morning, Russ. Now, it's not because I'm not here because I don't want to be here. It's because I live in Hawaii, so that's why. Yeah, she's lucky <laughs> enough to live in Hawaii. Yeah. Well, Julie, tell us a little bit about uh, yourself and... and in your life. Well, um, I live in paradise, although you guys do too. It's just a different form of paradise. I love where I live. We, we grow fresh fruit and have a great vegetable garden. And my husband, I live with a man who's very creative. He builds guitars and ukuleles, and right now he's working on a, a harp guitar. But real quickly, um, I'm a flight attendant for United Airlines, and I'm a grandma of six people, and I have uh, three sons and a stepson, and love my life and thankful to be here. And tell us a little bit uh, about what brought you to Bloom originally and why you became part of Bloom. Well, it was funny because uh, we have, we have, when we first saw Bloom, we have a little puppy at that time, she's now a big dog, but we were walking along to the park and we saw the free hugs, liberal Protestant church, and we thought the free hugs was really inviting, but the liberal Protestant church was like, aha. And so we thought, well, we gotta check this out. So we came here, and we loved um, meeting Kevin and Mike, and we're so happy that there is a place where finally um, the world was opening its arms to our, our gay and lesbian friends, and so thankful to find it. And love the people, it's like a family here, you know? So we yeah. just kept coming, and. I love Kevin's messages, and they always leave you with something wonderful. And the music, oh my gosh, the things that Richard and people put together is just awesome. So we come here for the whole thing, the music, the friends, and uh, Kevin's messages. It's a, a Bloom is a wonderful experience to Absolutely. be a part of. Absolutely. Well, tell me, what, what does Bloom mean to you? It's our Palm Springs family, and it's a place to come to have a message that stays with you during the week. You keep thinking about it, and um, all the friendships. It's just uh, really a big part of it, too. Oh, and I'm really proud of their stance in the community, for the, the, for the parades, and um, when things are that seem unjust, you know, Bloom will stand up, and I love the food baskets and the backpacks for you, uh, for the young people going back to school. I love their mission outreach, sandwiches every Monday they make for people. It's just a, a vital, wonderful, open presence to the community of what a church can mean, what a real church can mean. What, what philosophy or ideals do you live your life by? Okay, this sounds really trite, but for me, you know that scripture, do unto others as you wish yes. they would do it to you? That's how I try to live my life. Like, if a, a, a could be annoying phone person calls, you know, wants to, me to buy something, I try to imagine, well, what if I was that person? How would I want someone to answer me? So I try to be polite and listen. Just any situation, I try to go, well, well, how would I want to be treated? So I try to be loving and respect, respectful compassionate. Um, I think respect is really yeah. the key to value everyone's opinion and listen for the truth that might be there instead of shutting it off and saying, oh, you're wrong. Yeah. Anyway. That's a beautiful, beautiful way to live. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I, they try. I subscribe I try. to that philosophy, yeah, too. Yeah, I know you do. Yeah, you're it's, right. It's, uh, I think it's, it's a great way to live because then you open yourself to so much more. If, if there were three words that you could use to describe a bloom experience, what would they be? A bloom experience? You mean this church experience? Three words. Uh, bloom experience. Um, three words would be embracing, meaningful um, community. Well, Julie, I want to thank you for joining us here on After Bloom. Those are three wonderful words, by the way, and I, and I think they really describe 
a, a bloom experience and the experience that we take and share with us once we leave our Sunday services throughout the week. Yeah. And, and it's a wonderful thing. Thank you. And I'm just just beside myself to have you here. <laughs> um, I'm very happy to be here. And we're very happy to have you here. I don't get to see you very often, mm -hmm. but it's a wonderful thing when we when I do. Thank you, and Miss. I want to thank you for joining us this morning here on thank After you. Bloom. Thank you. And uh, I want to say to all of you that uh, go out and be the change that you want to see. Uh, it's up to you to make a difference. And when you make a difference, uh, you'd be surprised at uh, how it affects your own life. Thank you for joining us here on After Bloom this morning, and thank you for being my guest, my Julie. My pleasure. Thank and you. if you can, join us on Sunday mornings. We're here at 10 o'clock, and you can find your own three words to describe a Bloom experience. And also, if you can, we make sandwiches every Monday down at Well in the Desert, and if you can join us, we can always use the extra help. Thank you. And today you know that's good enough for me